Welcome back. Let's now start installing Docker. What I'm going to be using is Ubuntu 16.04. This is the most recent distribution uh, at the time of recording these videos. And if you're using another distribution of, uh, of, uh, of Linux, then you can go to the Docker website. You can find documentation on how to install it on different uh, distributions of uh, Linux. Or even if you're using Windows or Mac, then there's also information on how to install it on those operating systems. Um, the way, we're, what we're going to do now is install install uh, Docker on Ubuntu 16.04 and deal with a security issue. So let's go to the terminal and do the usual way of installing things, sudo apt get install. The package is called docker.io. Fortunately, it's available via the repositories. So hit enter, provide your password. It should ask you, to confirm that it's going to take that much space, you just say yes, and it shouldn't take too long if you have a speedy internet connection. Um, yeah, so it's installed, it's confirmed, Docker version, and the version we're having here is 1.10.3. 1 uh, As you can see, I've got the client and the server. Now, regarding the security issue on the documentation on the website on the docker website if you go down when we go to the ubuntu web page uh, we can find um, information that we need to add uh, a group called docker group where is it let's find it yeah this is the warning that we need to pay attention to it says that the docker group is equivalent to the root user what that means is when we if we leave it like that when we run, uh, the, the, there's a user called Docker, and that user is equivalent to the root user. So we need to restrict access, otherwise it can be very risky. Yeah, It can be a security risk. In fact, they provide the link here to the Docker daemon attack uh, surface for more details. So what we, go, we need to do now, according to their recommendation, is create a group and call it docker so let me copy that and paste it into my terminal it already exists because I've done this already before and add our user to the docker group so the username our user now is Nureddin that's my name if we just print that out as you can see and we're going to follow the recommendation Uh, no, no, let's not do it that way because we need to use the system user rather than provide the username explicitly. And the way to do that is, if you bear with me, um, is to say sudo minus a to add the current user to the docker group adding user nerdin to group docker so we've added it successfully so what we can do now is we can just restart the uh, docker daemon as a, because it's a service so we can do service docker restart it's going to stop and restart that's very good so what we've done now is we've installed uh, docker on ubuntu 16.04 We've created a group called Docker and we've added ourselves to that Docker. So next time when we run uh, Docker, we'll be running it as user Nuruddin, who is now a member of the user of the Docker group, rather than uh, running running it as uh, the Docker user, which is equivalent to root. So we will always want to avoid using root as much as we can because if anybody gets access to our host to the machine that Docker is running on then that can be really dangerous. So let's stop here. Uh, again, just to confirm that Docker now is running, if we confirm the version, then we can see, uh, as we saw before, the version is 1.10.3. So let's stop here and I'll see you next time.